We asked Donald Trump voters their thoughts on the president withholding his federal income tax information, as well as any possible conflicts of interest the president may have in dealing with China or Russia. Whether or not Donald Trump should release his tax returns is a complicated question. Uh, legally, he doesn't have to. There's nowhere in the Constitution or any law that says the president or the candidate should release his tax returns. It's up to their, their discretion. That's a good question. Um, I mean, no. No. It's not necessary, in my opinion, no. It doesn't really bother me that much either way. As of right now, I think we have bigger things to worry about than that. Not too concerned with what he has to say about his tax returns. I don't feel that any any person in the United States should have to be responsible for showing anybody their tax returns. There's a lot of controversy though, so I think he should release his tax returns. But at this point, I don't see why he's the president. Um, if there's a legal matter where he has to go to court, he should, but there's not, so he shouldn't. He should focus on running the country, and people should just respect the fact that he's president. So I think he does need to show his tax returns just for good faith more than anything else. If he doesn't show them, it almost acts like he's hiding something. And that's not a good sign from my, uh, from your leader. Yeah. I do. And, uh, the reason for that is every president before him has done that, so... Considering the public actually wants the tax returns, I'd say yes, but on a political standpoint, uh, you're kind of just comparing it to like Hillary's emails. It's not necessary. But it definitely is like a, you know, pivotal piece of information that can help like weigh uh, public opinion. So. It's more of a media trying to slander him with a, a gotcha point which, I mean, they have non-stop this entire election. The liberals are the hypocrisy of this country. The hypocritical party, they all preach stuff that they don't do. He's a, he's a businessman. His, you know, his business is his own private entity. No one really needs to see that stuff. I feel that he's a good uh, businessman and he can help us economically to build jobs and to build more uh, income into the country through tax revenue. You know, he, he made his money making, he made his money in the business world. He built an empire, he's a millionaire, and he's really rich. Like, he built his own money, he built his business from the start up. What concerns do you have that the president's personal financial interests may affect his policy decisions? I have none. Hillary Clinton had a pay for play. Uh, the Clinton Foundation would pay for play. So why should people be concerned about Trump? It's a liberal media. I don't think that Trump will let his personal financial interests. And if he does, I think it would be in a positive way. If he were to give up his business, like he, I mean, he said he has. So, I mean, you can only take him for his word. I really don't think there's any, especially since he decided to turn down his salary from presidency and give it back to veterans and stuff like that. I'm not too concerned right now. I think uh, Donald's done a good job of showing that he's really interested in bettering this country and that people need to help him until he proves himself that, that he is in, in for his own self-interest. Uh, I don't have reason to believe that that's going to affect anything. I think right now he's just going to do everything for the benefit of the country. Most people that have his kind of money probably do hide some things um, and get that rich for for being uh, for being on the up and up. I think that he has enough money, okay, that unless he's one of the greediest men on earth, it should not be a conflict of interest. If he has loans with banks in China or loans from Russian investors, how do you think that'll affect how he deals with China or Russia? I don't think that his relationship or lack thereof with Russia or China is going to affect the policy. And I'm sure it definitely affects his credibility, uh, but at the same time, I know that a lot of Americans who were voting even for Trump had difference of opinions on a lot of subjects, so this would 
kind of just be overlooked by those already voting for Trump. So, as long as he uh, doesn't actually run the business into Russia while he's a president, I don't see how it could be a problem. trying to keep jobs from going away to China and, and Russia and trying to get back to America. He's gone out of his way to tell China that, you know, we're going to cut ties with this or we're going to have problems with this or we discuss things with you. Um, this is the way it's going to be. I don't think that one man should be able to affect the way an entire country would handle their finances or their economy. I think that it would take more than that. That, that could be. So far they haven't let him do anything. His, uh, his Trump care got appealed. And his ban that he tried to have, um, the flight ban or whatever, that also got appealed. Somebody got to be the bad guy to actually make sure that there is some security and some surveillance going on. And I feel that until this government starts doing partisan work. We're going to continue to vote in people who are non-politicians. Do you really need to prove that he has or has not been you know, financially honest to run the country. Do you really need to prove that he has or has not been, you know, financially honest to run the country? He's already gotten lots of stuff done. He's signed 12 executive orders, I think, already. And he's following through and putting those plans into action as we speak. And none of his tax returns have stopped him from doing that.